My name is Pauline Bostoff. I'm a food blogger and photographer from Berlin, Germany. I'm around food every day. I create recipes, I cook them, I make food look pretty and take pictures of it. Living in Germany, the Syrian refugee crisis is a huge topic at the moment. And while I read so much about it, I notice that we don't really know anything about the living situation of those who have lost their home to war. So when a couple of months ago I got an email from the World Food Programme, I knew immediately that this project was something I needed to do. I'm going to a city called Sanliurfa, which is in the southeast of Turkey and about 60 kilometers away from the Syrian border. There are a lot of refugees um, seeking security in, in the city. And so it's not only a matter of where will those refugees go, where will they find shelter, but also where will they find food. They have been forced out of their homes, out of what they've known their entire life, but for them still being able to um, create this form of um, familiarity around food and being in a whole different country but still coming together at night and eating together, I think it's, it's wonderful. They have thought of dishes that they want to show me and together we will prepare the meal and hopefully we'll be able to share our stories and where we come from. I'm flying out to Turkey tomorrow. I'm gonna pack tonight and hopefully think of everything I might need. Um, I'm excited. For me, as a food blogger, my connection with them will be in the kitchen, will be the food, because in a way, you know, we live in different countries and different circumstances, but what we all do is sleep and eat. The city of Urfa turned out to be beautiful and like nothing I've seen before. To try and learn a little bit more about the project, I had a talk with Asuman, who's the senior program associate for the WFP. We're currently providing food assistance to Syrian uh, refugees in the southeast part of Turkey. And instead of handing out food, they have decided to give out these e-food cards. It's a debit card, it's a bank card. And every month it gets topped up with around 25 euros per person in the family. What is the impact that it has on especially the women who receive the card? Mm. Well, the, Im the main impact is they can cook the meals that they are used to, they can go to the shops. The shops usually bringing the uh, food they're used to have in Syria, so they can go and shop and they can go and buy those um, items with this e-food card. The family I visited has built a new home on the outskirts of Shanlofa in the hills. They have been using the e-food card for about a year. Fatma is the mother of the family and we'll be cooking together. First, we headed down to the supermarket to pick up everything we would need. How, how long have you been living here now? I'm going to be a year and a half. Why do I like Turkey? Turkey doesn't work with us a lot. We're going to be a little bit different. 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 أخويا لما إجا وقال لي اطلعي معاي على ألمانيا قلت له لا خلاص أظل هنا أنا وولادي وزلمتي يعني على حدود مشان إذا رجعت سوريا إن شاء الله يا ربي ترجع سوريا مباشر الواحد يرجع. This is Fatma's closest supermarket where she buys all the food she needs once a month. We are gonna make some hummus today and baba ganoush or something like that. Baba ganoush, fettet hummus, mujaddara. Mujaddara, this. This one? Yes. Okay. This is the coffee for my husband. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 
واحنا صغار ابويا جابها من لبنان وزرعها، احنا صغار والمانجا صغيره، احنا كبرنا وكبرت المانجا معانا ونضل ناكل منها كل سنه ناكل منها، تستوي عندنا بالبيت وناكل منها. لما تهجرنا وطلعنا وصر لاجئين، بعد فتره رجعنا على البيت لقيناها محروقه كلياتها، البيت كله محروق مو ظال منه شيء. بيتنا واثاثنا واغراضنا كل شيء احنا طلعنا بهدومنا اللي لابسينها هاي طلعنا. The WFP contracts markets like this one and regularly makes sure that their prices stay fair. Funding from the European Union helps make the eFood Cut program possible. Begum from ECHO told me more about this partnership. What does ECHO do? ECHO, uh, in all around the world, EU and the member states are the leading donor in terms of humanitarian assistance. So what ECHO does is uh, coordinating this assistance and ECHO is contributing this project with 40 million euros. Uh, so um, with the eFood card that has been established here, um, ECHO is, the, um, is raising the funds mm -hmm. and WFP is then delivering Deli it in practice. Exactly. So at what age did you start to learn cooking? So your husband came first here and he actually built the, the two houses, right? Hey, إجا جوزي إجا قبل بسبعة أشهر وسوى البيت هذا صور لي هي قصة طويلة شوي يعني اللي السبب اللي خلاني أجي لهنا هو ابني لؤي مشان داعش تأخذ الأولاد اللي بجد هذولا تأخذهم يروحون يقاتلون معها يعني خفت عليه كنت هناك يعني أموري ماشي حالها بس لما خفت على ابني بعد غراض بيتي وأشياء يكلها بعدها برخص في سبيل اني اطلع اجي لهنا مشان داعش ما ياخذون ابني هذا. انا خفت عليه كثير. So now that you have the card and you can go um, and shop groceries for yourself, do, have you, um, do you feel like you know you can prepare your own food again and it feels a little bit more like home? ايه نفس الشيء ايه. لانه يعني اشيائنا واشياء التركيين نفس الشيء خضرتهم برغل رز خبز بولينا اذا انتم تروحين على سوريا وتشوفين الاوضاع الاوضاع ماساويه جدا هناك احنا بألف نعمه هنا احنا كلاجئين هنا بتركيا بألف نعمه عن السوريين اللي جوا لسه بسوريا Food is more than need. Food is more than nutrition. Ah, okay, okay, I can do that, yes. Food is also a way to carry your past, your culture, also the richness of a society. So we also want the Syrians to keep this richness and their traditions. And of course, it's at the same time a sense of normality. It makes them feel like they're still living in their part of in their country. So they can do their, I mean, they can carry on with their own daily lives. It was just a really, really comfortable and lovely situation. Um, getting to know her and her family a little bit better by, you know, all gathering around and and eating. And it's so lovely to see that they're able to access the food that they know from home and bring their flavors with them in their new home.
thank you so so much for showing me all this like to show to invite me in your kitchen and it's been so fun cooking with you and like learning little tips and tricks and thank you for opening your home for us it's been, it's been wonderful at the end of a long and very emotional day we headed back to the hotel to rest up before our flight in the morning Looking back on the things I had experienced and the people I met, there was a lot to process. We are leaving tomorrow. This was our last day. The last couple of days really showed me that food is universal. We all need it. We all enjoy it. And we all bring our own little something to it. Food is something really emotional and seeing how much comfort it can give people was something really wonderful to witness and yeah in a way food is home mm -hmm.